Oh, we're gonna see how it is, and we're gonna have a wonderful time. I have not. I have not jumped into the game before. I do not know what to expect. Um, I'm going based on uh, based on the, the the trailer I saw and the images on Steam and the description. I wanted to play it, um, so we'll get we'll get a chance to take to get, take a first look at it. Um, and then we'll jump, we'll switch out and do something else afterwards. Um, so let's just um, jump ourselves in here, right? Let's just go right in. I mean, this character on the right is the one you play. Um, Motors HQ, Department of Outside Intelligence. <gasps> Let me tell you something I wish somebody had told me on my first day. Being a spy is nothing like you see on TV. Showdowns in exotic locales, death-defying car chases, seemingly limitless food and beverage per diems. Uh -uh. Those days are over. What we deal with is the collection and manipulation of information plain and simple. And thanks to the wonders of telephone communication, we don't even have to leave our desks anymore. Mm. Is it fun? Not really. Does it pay well? Well, that depends on how long you've been here. But listen, if you keep your head down and do what's asked of you, 50, 20 years down the line, you could have a nice looking corner office just like this one. Well, Heated underground parking too. <laughs> Heated parking? Not too shabby, is it? Hated parking? Whoa. Oh. Sounds like I had, I'd ever be a real spy. Oh, I think we want to do When food. I signed up here, I was kind of hoping to do work in the field. Of course you were. Take it from someone who spent their entire 20s having the wind blow through their hair. Sooner or later, we all have to settle down and manage expectations. Better to do that now and get a head start on everybody else. Fair enough. What's your name again? Yeah, I gotta say like Bond, right? Kovacs. Numi Kovacs. Kovacs. Numi Kovacs. Cute. But try to knock that fantasy nonsense out of your head. We're doing serious work here. Since it's your first day, let's see what they taught you in the academy. The woman we're about to call is Lacey Mendoza. She's a production manager at our latest competitor, Rev Inc. Our top engineer, a fellow by the name of Sebastian Cartwright, was working on a top secret project when he was abducted along with his plans. Oh dear. We're beginning to think that Cartwright might be involved in whatever they're doing over there at Rev, and possibly against his will. There's three things I'm gonna need you to find out. Hmm. One, where this test facility is located. Two, what's the easiest point of entry? And three, whether or not they have Sebastian. I pulled all the information I could on Lacey and compiled it in this scrapbook. It's not much, but it might help you gild the lily. Any questions? Any questions? Hello, Max Reed. I'm doing all right. Doing okay. Um. Tell me more about Sebastian. Brilliant engineer. Bit of an eccentric has a Jones for clean energy. Whatever, Whatever that, that is. Yeah. Clean energy. We got remember this is the 70s, so now, nowadays we all know what clean energy is. I mean looking at the posters and the awards in the background, I'm guessing that this is this guy with big hair, he looks better with big hair, doesn't he? Um What's Rev Inc? No idea. There's nothing on the books to prove it exists. My guess is that it's just the front for one of the big boys. Okay. How do I use the scrapbook? It's a scrapbook. You turn the pages with your hands and look through it with your eyes. Then your eyes take what they see to your brain and your brain uses that to come up with ideas. Though maybe not in your case. 
uh, Max Ready is out. The game's released in two weeks today. Um, this is a press demo, which is just the very beginning of the game. Um, just to kind of check out what it's like. Um, so it's, it's out in two weeks. So the, the idea is, it's a, very, it's a very early part of the game. Just check it out, like show my you know, regulars and stuff. Just, it's, it's something I will definitely be playing in two weeks when it comes out um, and get, get a feel for what the game is like. Any advice? Get her to trust you. Pretend to be someone from her past. Someone she cares for, but okay. hasn't kept in touch with. Uh, old classmate, former co-worker, that sort of thing. Whatever you do, don't pretend to be a loan manager. You won't make it past hello. Hmm. Enough talk. Let's call her up. All right, so we're going to be a, we're a newbie spy. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so basically we got this. This is an important mission, so make it count. We've... Don't call up, you haven't looked at the info. No, not yet. Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey, who's speaking? I'm not even started yet. This is Sheila Arbogast from the London branch. Uh, the London branch of what? The, uh, thing you do. Your company. Um, first of all, we're not a company. We're a community. And secondly, we don't have a London branch, but we will. I'm from the future. Don't talk specifics unless you know them to be true. <laughs> Let's give it another try. No, I want to look at the information. We got a. Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? I want to look at the info. I thought we'd better look through the folder before we um, did it. Um... This is Lindsay Fellows from <laughs> Falcon Crest Fiduciary. We're calling about your student loan repayment. Click. Will you people ever give up? I'll pay you back when I'm good and ready. Until then, leave me alone. If you want to get information from a mark, it's usually best if you pretend to be someone they want to speak to. National. How about you do a different voice and try it again? National Housing Bureau. Okay, so that's like where she's lived. Bliss and blessings unto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? Oh. Let's play a guessing game, shall we? Guess who? Uh, you'll have to forgive me. I'm having some trouble placing you. We haven't heard from outsiders in quite some time. Only the best roommate you've ever had. Clara? You sound really different. Low. So do you. I actually thought you were a man when you first picked up. <laughs> really? Well, it's probably just a bad line or something. That's probably it. You're not with Docilio, are you? Who's Docilio? Never mind. We've just had a lot of outside Decilio. interference lately, and we need to be extra careful about who we speak to. So if you really are Clara, I'm going to need some proof. Why don't we start with you telling me the address of our old apartment? Oh, okay, look, so we do have them here. So the top one is on that list, so is the... I guess it's going to be that one, the 42 Overlook Terrace, because the lease holder is C. Babcock, which is, could be Clara, right? So we we'll go that one. 42 Overlook Terrace. Wow, it really is you! But how on earth did you get this number? Your mother gave it to me, your ex gave it to me, I used my psychic abilities. I found it on your patent application. Hmm. Um. Just hold on a second while I just fumble through your stuff. Um. I'm gonna, we could we could go with a mom, but um. We'll go with the ex because she's probably not gonna speak. We'll go with that. Your ex gave it to me. He did. How did he? What did he say? Because obviously there's there's um something not really good happening there. Um. So she she abandoned her fiance. So he didn't run out on her. She ran out on him. Um, okay. 
is this game a story influenced by every other decision? Sort of. I, I believe it is. I believe um, your decisions are meant to matter. How much? I'm not totally sure. Um, I'm not sure if I'm not sure if you have different outcomes depending on what you said, or whether they just guide you to. If you choose something that's the wrong one, whether or not you just get guided back to choose another one, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, uh, He's hurt that you left. Good. After years of sabotaging hardworking people to line his pockets, he deserves to be hurt. You can tell him I'm in a good relationship now with someone who wants to help the world move forward, not backwards. And while you're at it, tell him to stop using my idiot friends to do his dirty work. Next time, you might want to take a closer look at the case file before stepping into it like that. Well, you got one out of three. Not terrible for a first try. Oh, bad. Who knows? Maybe in a few years, you'll be ready to mend the phones for real. Why don't you take a coffee break and then get started on some light clerical work? I think that's more your speed. Because he did say, he said, there, make sure you read the stuff before you, you know, um, make the calls. But you didn't give me a chance. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one good reason, you know, one good thing about um, being able to check out like a press demo like this is you can kind of get the idea of what to expect, you know, if, if you know what I mean, um, before. Not much competition in this employee of the month game, is there? Not as long as I'm around. <laughs> okay, so he's employee of the month every month. Nice haircut. Better times. Have you ever thought about growing it back? Every single day. I'm sure getting a mop up, getting, getting himself a new mop wouldn't be so bad, right? Um, um, he said he was going to get coffee, didn't he? Um, let's just um, get coffee. I'm going to go get some coffee. Suit yourself. I'm not really. We're going to look around. That's what we're going to do. We're going to, we're going to scope the office. Let's go back the office, see what we can find. Yeah, it's, it's like a classic sort of um, point and click. Um, um, obviously, when you can when you can select something, you get the cursor change color. Um, you get a different cursor. Let's find the the um, the kitchen for coffee. I guess we're gonna go and find the coffee, man. Let's find the coffee. Oh, we've got a fax machine. It looks like, like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. Okay. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. So we don't have a key card yet, so we we can't do that. No, we can't do much. We can have some water. Outside Intelligence is looking to start a competitive Jai Alai team to play against the Bellows Bloodhounds. What the heck is Jai Alai? It's pronounced High Lie. What the heck is High Lie? If you don't even know what it is, you're not welcome on the team. Well, do you want to be on the team? An elevator. Research there division. There are a lot of people in there. About 50 at least. I don't know what's going on. Looks like it needs a passcode. Yeah. It's the off. That font's pretty hard to read. <laughs> it's not a font. It's a foreign film from Japan. Well, yeah, I knew that. The Japanese language also has fonts, and uh, this one's pretty hard to read. Good movie? Utterly breathtaking. It's almost 20 years old and still ahead of its time. I'd love to see it. Well, it's very hard to get a hold of. Have to be in the right circles, which you're obviously not. Not yet. Not yet. That desk's a little tall, isn't it? It's meant for standing. Why would anyone want to stand when they could sit? You'll understand when you're older. This is kind of... Roaming the halls already, are we? Turns out I could have a break. 
Well, now I have to commit three of my best agents to undoing the damage you've done with that phone call. I tried my best. Oh, I'm sure you did. But to keep this office running as smoothly as what possible, a tit. perhaps you'll consider making this break a permanent one. You want me to quit? Quit, step down, early retirement without benefits. Why get hung up on titles? All that matters is that you're happy. Why don't you think about it and get back to me? He wants us to quit on our first day. You can piss off. Who are you? Thornton Panderbrook. Office Manager, Division of Outside Intelligence, Air Apparent to Penderbrook Motors, International Traveler, Raconteur, and Bon Vivant. Oh, well, my name's Numi. Mm. Okay, so he's, he's um, the owner of the company. I'd like to do a field he's mission. He's important. A field mission? Ho, 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 that's right. Most of our work is handled over the phone these days. We only have one agent in the field. There's no need for any more. Is there any situation where I could work in the field? For that to happen, every single agent in this office would have to become indisposed. So it is possible then. If that kind of wild optimism is what you need to continue your interminable existence, far be it from me to tell you otherwise. Can I have the code for the outbound research division? The bullpen for the telephone division falls under Mr. Turner's domain, and he prefers mm. to um, keep that to himself. My only dealings with him is through the company mail system. Turn doesn't trust you. It's my understanding that Mr. Turner lost his government position due to information about him being leaked. Ever since then, he's been very <laughs> particular about office protocols. I should get back to work. Before you do, let me ask you a question. Have you ever taken the time to stroll the docile woods? Uh... No. Nope. Well, that wasn't the answer I was looking for, but I suppose I should have assumed based on your attire. Off you go! I want a coffee machine, that's what I want. Looks like these mail slots connect to the bullpen on the other side. Ah, ah, ah! All inter-agent communication must be approved by yours truly. Mm -hmm. Out of order. Guess I'll have to hold it. Toilet's out of order! Oh my god. Okay. We can still go. We can still hit the elevator. Um. Let's go see what's the other side of the door. Um. Oh, hello, old man. Who are you? Hi, I'm Numi Kovacs. Well, 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 you must be the latest oi boy. Oi boy? Huh? I don't understand. Outside intelligence? O-I? Oi! Listen, kid, if you want to stand out and be seen as spectacular, it's best that you take to our office vernacular. Let me introduce myself. Hab Applecott's the name. Equipping agents is my claim to fame. You need gadgetry, you come to me. Forgery, too. I'll make you an honorary degree. Oh. What's the deal with Term? Oh. He seems a little... off. He was once a federal field agent, considered one of the best, but was fired for sending his partner on a self-serving quest. She took most of the flack, was temporarily jailed, and ever since then his career's been derailed. You'd be cranky too if that happened to you. What's with all the rhyming? Most of my work is pretty mundane. Speaking like this keeps me from going insane. 
Yeah, I... Do you have any advice on how I can get some field work? Around here, that's unfortunately Horace's domain. And between you and me, that's a downright shame. He won't use my inventions, says he's found better kinds. But that's only because he pockets everything he finds. If I were in charge, I'd send him on a permanent vacation. But Turn won't do it. I think he fears retaliation. Mm -hmm. Could you help me replace Horace in the field? Well, Horace is more a pain than I'd like to admit. Too loose with his lips and totally lacking in wit. But going out on a limb for a perfect stranger? Why, a stunt like that could put my job in danger. I promise to return the favor. And what yeah. makes you think you'll be around to repay? Turns fired assistance after only one day. Hello, my lord. I'm smart. Practically a genius. Intelligence is something that one has to prove. All right, go ahead and make your first chess move. Uh oh. <laughs> the peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. It's a legume. Intelligence and knowledge aren't one and the same. Just spitting out trivia is both boring and lame. QB8 to QB7. There's a pawn in that spot, you crazy cretin. <laughs> One move in and you're already beaten. What can I say to impress you today? There's a step in the right direction. Keep bringing the rhymes and you might pass inspection. Oh, okay. It was just a rhyme, I guess, like him. Um... um. I'll stand here for weeks on end, if that's what it takes to call you friend. You've impressed me thus far, but how long can that last? I'm a visitor from the future, not one from the past. The context of that doesn't make any sense. You're starting to come off a little bit dense. Oi. Let's try again. You've impressed me thus far, but how long can that last? When you find out the answer, you'll be somewhat aghast. Hmm, when it comes to Western poetry, you're clearly a beast. Now how about a form that began in the East? He called me a beast. syllable count of five, seven, five is a perfect way to keep the brain cells alive. Now, with a haiku, I'll be impressed through and through, and maybe help you. Uh, what? Success. Please just be nice to me. Count the syllables. It's simple. Five, seven, oh. five. You've almost made it. Oh. We know what you need, so don't worry your dumb head, the early birds say. Your poetic prowess has left me feeling quite odd. As a man of my word, I'll assist with your fraud. <gasps> this fake ID should serve you just fine. But if anyone asks, the hands that made them were not mine. The fake ID! Give me access to the photocopier. Without an official tracker, there's little that card can do. If you want real privileges, you might try a switcheroo. Who's gonna be dumb enough to fall for that? Check another floor if you can't find someone nearby. As long as you stay persistent, you're sure to find your guy. Thanks, Hab. Nice, we got a... We got a key card. A fake card. So, we can go and, um... I, I don't know what's on the other floors. We're still looking to try to find the... Like, the, where we can have some coffee. Right? 
and some coffee. And we got up to the roof. Helicopter blue. Clicking on the bars to make the fly away. Whoa. Keep clicking on him, he'll piss off, really. Oh, there's a dude up there. <laughs> Wait, did we really. Did we just blow up a bird? We did, right? Well, there's a new site in an old place. Name's Horace. Horace Hayes. Hi, I'm Numi. Numi, Numi, Numi. Another name I'm gonna have to learn to forget. What do you mean? Let me guess. New kid, fresh out of the academy, ready to travel the world and set it on fire. Problem is, Penderbrook's only got room for one field agent, and you're looking at him. I have a lot to offer. Oh, I'm sure you do. But once you realize all you're going to be doing is answering phones and ordering lunches, you'll go somewhere else, just like the rest. Why don't I save you some time? The Bellas Agency just opened an outfit across town and are looking to poach as many of our agents as they can. Why don't you give her a call? Head off to Greener Pastures. After one day? Do you have what it takes to be a Bellows Bloodhound? Call today, 1-800-555-U-SPY! Extremely competitive salary, health, and dental benefits, stock options. Ooh. Must have a minimum two years experience in telephone or field-based recon. No exceptions. Well, we are one day. Um, we have one day, right? That should be good enough, right? This flyer says I need two years experience. You don't have that? Hey, maybe you should be answering turns calls. How come you're not applying for this job? I know certain things about the people here at Penderbrook, which have afforded me a somewhat privileged situation. What do you know? You heard about how a turns partner of the government wound up getting arrested? Well, let's just say that turns version is a bit of a bald-faced lie. Uh, he's holding information over his boss. Um, so are you the only agent who gets to work the field? Sometimes when I'm indisposed, Turn will send someone out in my stead. But that only happens once every couple of years. So if you went missing, they might send me? Sure. If I went missing, along with the 50 other folks in this place that outrank you. But that's not going to happen now, is it? Is that, so maybe that's going to be our objective here is to get everybody indisposed to um you know to um so we can actually get out there in the field what are you doing up here waiting to deploy on a new mission supposed to bring back a scientist that got kidnapped or something oh should have left an hour ago but whoever handled that intel messed up something fierce hate to be the dummy who botched that one yeah what an idiot they told me it was you. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> if you're such a big shot, how about you show me the ropes? I don't need to prove myself to you. Or maybe you don't have anything to offer. Okay, here's my nice jacket. A good spy knows how to get things out of reach, but a great spy knows how to keep things out of reach. Take a look at this jacket. Seems pretty normal, right? I guess. Well, I had every pocket made up of two sleeves. That way no one can pickpocket me without raising the price. I call it the double deck. Might even get a patent for it after I retire. I bet I could pick your pocket without you noticing. Alright, hotshot. Give it a go. Wait, what? Pickpocket minigame, okay.
So basically, we got this card there, so we've got to get our card in here and that one out, right? Just leave it down the bottom. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's it's, it's very it's very cool. The, the art style is is very interesting. I, I like it. Um, it is it's definitely it definitely has uh, some good humor in it so far, right? Um, Aw, couldn't even reach it. Maybe some other time. Nice try, Miss. Wait, what? I may not have felt you lifting that car, but my pocket is definitely feeling a little lighter. I don't know what you're talking about. Hand it over, or I'll go straight. Oh to shit! Door. We should have put the other one in first, I guess. I was gonna take his one out and put put Here it back in. Um. Another good lesson for you. If you're gonna steal something, make sure you replace. I didn't have the option to replace else. it though. I maybe gotta you gotta put one in before you take the other one out. I swear I we screwed right. Can I borrow your ID card? I need to make some photocopies. You're not planning to pass up that job flyer I gave you, are you? Would that be a problem? Not for you. Heck, with that free dental, the whole office would clear out in a rat jiffy. After me, you'd be next in line for field. Exactly. Oh. So will you help me? Love to, ma'am. I don't know you from Stephen. I think the expression is, I don't know you from Adam. No, I, I know an Adam. And I can definitely tell you two apart. He's my brother. <laughs> Don't take it too personal. I wouldn't let him use my card either. So how did Turn really lose his job with the government? Why, so you could use it against him to make him put you in the field? No! I'm not going anywhere, sweetie. And neither are you. Well, it's something like a... Can I try picking your pocket again? Have at it. Alright, so we're gonna put we're gonna remember to put the old one in. Put our one in before we take this one out, right? Move it over there. Oh there, yeah, let's put our let's put our one there in this time in in the place. Say it mate, that's it mate, we're we're pickpocket extraordinaire. Yeah, whoa, 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 we got this shit, we got this. Yeah. Oh wow. What's that? Nothing. I just I just realized that there's no way I'm ever going to be able to steal this thing without you noticing. That's what I've been saying. This double decker is gonna make me a fortune. Wait a sec. Unfortunately, what's wrong? Nothing. Just thought my pocket Thank felt you. different um, for a sec. But my cards. I'm a pro, man. I'm a pro at picking pockets. Um, Exchange Studios. Thank you. And hi. Um, Exchange Studios being uh, the develop developer of this game. It's very, it's very um, interesting so far. I'm, I'm loving the art. I really am. What we got we got the um so we got a, we got a real key card now and we got the um fly from him um so the key card was for the photocopy right Did, didn't they say to um he hinted about making lots of photocopies of that that um fly right to get people out i still want coffee i mean he told us that he asked us to go make coffee i i've not found anywhere to make coffee we just got a water dispenser it's not quite coffee unfortunately but we can mess with we can mess with this now. Um, 
All right, so use the key card. Okay, so. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. We got it. We got one. We got one. Thank you, Horace Hayes. Horace Hayes. Let's do it. idea, but I really should try calling this number first. Okay. Who wants to call it first? But we don't want a job. I guess we can go back downstairs and try to use the phone. Um, was this a cool idea? It was the office manager, wasn't it? This was the office manager. Okay. The guy to the left was the, the gadget guy. If we go back downstairs, if we go back down, we'll be he'll better give us a um get another job from him. We can use the phone and call him up. Well, hit the floor. She's back for more. I've got to go, but thanks for your help. If you need anything else, just give me a yell. Let's go see the um. Let's see turn. Let's see turn up downstairs. Hold on. Let's see if he's got any more jobs for us. So, what should I call you? Barney? Mr. Turner? Folks around here call me Turn. Turn? Does that mean they're going to start calling me Kova? No. All right. Good talk. Anything I can do to help out? We're on standby till Penderbrook gives us our next assignment. You can go introduce yourself to the rest of the team if you want. I, I don't care. When's our next case? We don't have a next case. That phone call was a taste of what you might get to do in a few years. Years? After you pay your dues. Years? Keys. I've done four years of espionage school. I've paid my dues. Company policy? All outside intelligence employees must have two years' experience before accepting missions. No exceptions. Let's go on one of your missions then. A real one. Out in the field. I haven't done field work since I was with the government. If you ask me, waste of time. You were a government agent. Like the kind that kill people and blow stuff up? I was, but that was a decade ago, and I don't really like to reminisce. We had big hair. Why? Did you get fired? Where did you hear that? I didn't. I'm just wondering why someone would quit such a cool job to work for a car company. That's really none of your business. A and if I was fired, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to tell me if you didn't get fired. I shouldn't have even told you that I worked there in the first place. Ah, is that why you got fired? Mm. None of your business. You got fired. Hello. Is there any chance we might be called in to do field work? The only way you would be called in to do field work is if every agent in this office <laughs> were to become incapacitated. So, like, if I made them all sick, or got them to quit? Something like that? Are you planning something? No, I'm just a very curious person. Why don't you go be curious somewhere else? Bye. I have to use the bathroom. Thanks for the update. Bye. So if we, if we got a call up, or we got a call up, um, is it a call number on a poster? The only phones are here with him. Um, but we can't use these phones. I have to go see a man about a horse. Yee-haw. Alright. See, the only phones in the, that we've seen in the building is there. Well, 
floor. She's back for more. I've got to go, but thanks for your help. If you need anything else, just give me a yelp. Do we have a photocopier, which we, um... We've got a car to use it. We've got a flyer to, um... Copy, but they want us to call a number before we can copy. Safety it. notices, inter office dating policies. Not much about this place seems to spell adventure. We can get to the roof. We can't seem to go to any other floors. Um. Hmm. Let's see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. Pull us out of order. Looks Damn like these nail slots connect to the bullpen on the other side. Ah, ah, ah. All inter agent communication must be approved by yours truly. So, if we did get those things photocopied, we can put them in the, um, in the mail slots. What is it now? I gotta go. Do be a stranger. Oh, okay. There's nothing we can say to him. There's nothing we can say to any of the characters. The guy on the roof, Adam, isn't even say to him either, so... We're obviously missing something really, really straightforward. I'm trying to photocopy again. I'm trying to photocopy again. This guy up here is not going to say anything to us. I'm going to have a word to him. He's noticed his thing got missing. I'm going to have to that. Let's go and have a walk with him again. Bye. Adios. <laughs> okay, so, we can't speak to any of the characters. None of the locations have anything at all that we can click on apart from the photocopier. And use the photocopier, it says you should ring the number first. But, there's no telephone you can use to ring, num to ring any numbers. I kind of hinted about this flyer, about um, using it, copying it. Not a bad idea, but I really should try calling this. We can use this one here, maybe. Can we use this one? Ah, we can use this one here. Okay, we can use this one. I didn't see that one when we walked past it first time. Let's do it. One eight hundred five five five. You spy. I'd like to apply for a job, please. One moment. Dixie on a limited. Funky hold music. This is Cynthia Bellows. To whom am I speaking? Numi Kovacs. I'm uh, uh, looking for a job, preferably in the field. Kovacs. Kovacs. I don't seem to have anything in my Rolodex on you. That's because I'm a good spy. I know how to cover my tracks. Hmm. Challenge accepted. Please hold. Kovacs, knew me. Born November 13th, 1957, to Sydney and Lucretia Kovacs. No professional experience, but graduated top of her class at the Lacare Institute for Exceptional Spies. Excellent at hand-to-hand -hand combat and field-based reconnaissance, but passed over for government service due to... a total disregard for menial tasks. Things haven't changed much, it seems. If you were a man, they would have just called you ambitious. Surprised they hired someone like you in the first place. Turn's basically running a call center over there, isn't he? You know Turn? Know him? We used to be partners. Professionally or romantically? Hmm. Perhaps you do have the makings of a bloodhound. But no, our relationship was strictly professional. Mm -hmm. At least on my end. What do you mean by that? Just... Be careful how you deal with Turn. He can be a bald-faced liar when his back's against the wall. 
Good to know. Tell me why you want to work for me. I want to do important work. Look, I don't envy you. Messing around with people's lives on behalf of a big corporation isn't exactly taking the high road. But if you want to build a name for yourself, you've got to make the most of the path you're already on. And what path is that? I think you know. Yeah. One last thing. Do you happen to know anything about the Docilio group? Yes. So the guy upstairs mentioned that, didn't he? Um. I think I've heard it mentioned before. They wouldn't like hearing that. Who are they? Let's just say that if you think that office is holding you back, you'll be floored when you see what they're up to. What are they up to? Oh. If you're half the spy you say you are, you'll find out soon enough. Take care, Numi. I'll be in touch when the time is right. Okay. Hello, Wars Gaming. I guess now we can photocopy it. Well, hit the floor. She's back for more. I've got to go, but thanks for your help. To make sure these um, folks haven't got anything to chat with us about. Give me a yelp. I wonder if the guy, um, if we talk to Turn, if he has anything to say about her. A hundred copies of this flyer should do the trick. Is she gonna wait? Hundred? Where's she gonna put them? Her. She's got big pockets. I gotta say that. Right. So the flies. We gotta. If we get the flies into the mail slots, but we gotta get this guy over here to get out of the way. Um. How you doing, Wars? If you put them in the mail slots, we can pass them into the bullpen. They might get those guys to scatter. What is it now? I gotta go. Right, do be a stranger. I'm gonna do something with turn. Um, I don't know if this is gonna be. He's not gonna let us fiddle with it. With him here. Ah, ah, ah. If you wanna send a communique to the bullpen, it'll have to pass my inspection. Let's see, we gotta get him out of the way. Oh, look. It's um, kinda chilly in here. Okay. Might wanna turn down the AC. <laughs> You might want to leave well enough alone. Okay. So maybe if we can, if we get the AC tweaked, we can um, get him to go put it back, right? I'm doing okay, Wars. Taking a look at this, uh, press them on this game that's out in a, out in a couple of weeks. Um, let's see if um. She, no, she, she had someone else mention this docile uh, group. Maybe this guy up here, she would talk to him about it or ask him about it. Yeah, I don't know when you get games like that. This I'm kind of interested in. If I get the chance to play Bye. Uh, like Adios. early de uh, demos of it, I always like to try. Just you get a better idea of what something's going to be. Um, okay, so no. I was wondering if maybe if we, because we spoke simply about the docile group, he mentioned it, whether he'd say anything else, but no. All right, okay. AC. We're gonna need some tools or something to open this up, I guess. Well then, you got any reason to be fiddling with that contraption? Not really. <laughs> then don't. Alright, okay. Here come. Maybe we can get, um. Who's the gadget dude, man? The gadget dude down here. Maybe we can chat with him about the Hello, follow fashion. I'm curious if Turn will give us some, something to say about them. Um, what is that? Do you mind if I take this bottle? Ah, yes. This here is the least practical disappearing ink you'll ever meet. It shows up at room temperature and disappears in the heat. That sounds very useless. Oh, it is. Enjoy! Nice! That's nice mink. Okay. Well, hit the floor. She's back for more. I've got to go, but go to thanks turn. for your help. If you so we got some, we got some ink. Just give me a yelp. 
it does. It definitely has an interesting look. Um, Bye. Okay. Later. So we got nothing else we can say to him. So we got nothing to do down here. So we've got the um. Is that ink? Invisible ink. A flyers. Maybe we can put the ink into the aircon. That seems like a very shitty thing to do, but maybe because it, it was kind of broken a little bit. You could see it's kind of got a, had a hole there. Well, that's probably like a hole to to grab hold of it or put something in it to open it. But maybe we can slip it in. Just push, tip the ship, tip the bottle in there. No. You keep messing with that AC box, and I'm gonna have to say something to the higher ups. Just looking. Sorry. Guess we gotta get him out of the way as well. Okay. We gotta get him out of the way before we can do anything to the AC. Maybe that's where the pigeons come into it. Maybe we get a pigeon to, to kind of um, harass him. Pigeon to jump on his head or something. Come back. Spam it. It's like duck hunt or duck shoot. I think I did. You click on it, clicked on it enough, he just went. He did go poop. Um, can we um, show him the flyers we printed? Oh. Yeah! Go put another one. Okay. I don't know what the purpose is of, of popping pigeons, but. So basically what we're trying to do at the moment is we've got these flyers, we're trying to put in these mail these mail boxes. But we can't put them in the mailboxes because there's a dude standing there. Um, and he we can't get him to move. Although he does like it really he's got it really chilly. He's got he's got it really chilly with his coat on. If we can do something with the aircon, I'm sure he will move, right? Um It's kinda chilly in here. Might want to turn down the AC. <laughs> you might want to leave well enough alone. But you can't do nothing with the AC because you've got a dude standing upstairs and watching. I got nothing at all I can do to the, I can talk to the guy upstairs about. I got no objects I can give him. So I don't know what you're supposed to do to make him piss off. Kind of thing. And there's like four characters you can speak to and none of them have any have anything at all to say to me. Um, so what we got to do is totally done with using these few items in my inventory. Unless there's something I'm missing. I have to look, walk around every single environment again, just hovering over it to see if the cursor changes, just in case there's something else you can pick up. Because it's, it's not, it doesn't kind of um, give you an indication of what's what's part of the background or what's selectable. You've got to, like there's like those old old school adventure games, you know, where you you got to kind of cursor over everything. You know what I mean? Well, hit the to um, see what is clickable. I've got to go, but thanks for your help. Right, if you need else, anything else, there's nothing else around him. Help. We can click on. I can't use the phone anymore. Um, we just don't want to photocopy, but it's not. We've already done our photocopies.
So you can click on the air vent. It just makes him talk about the aircon and these mail shoots. And you do that and he, t he tells you to bugger off. So once he's gone, you can use the flyers on these, I guess. Dump the flyers on them. Right, so there's nothing on this level we can do it, we can interact with. I check on those stairs. Who's the girl? Woman. Who's the woman? Don't worry about it. Last time we just spoke to her on the phone, isn't it? So, so now we've spoken to her on the phone. He, she asked him something else about it. I don't want to talk to him about it. He doesn't want to talk about her. Bye. Later. Down here we can interact with. If what is it? Ink in the bow oh, copper. Maybe this invisible ink will do the trick. No need to use that again. I've already got a hundred copies I need to get rid of. Wait, what? We just... We just put invisible ink in the photocopier? Okay. Why did we do that? I don't know why we did that. Here we go. 100 top secret invisible job flyers. All right, we got 100 more. We got okay, we got Okay, now we got um invisible flyers this time. Um the ones we had before um weren't invisible. If that makes any difference or not, I don't know. Um I think he said the um, the flyers. Um, as soon as it, you can actually see the ink once it got hot. So he's it's cold here, right? So if we said so he may see this as empty pieces of paper. Hey, I found this stack of blank paper lying around. I was thinking they might be more useful in the bullpen. Capital idea! I'll send them through their mailbox right away. <laughs> what magic is this? The cool breeze from this air conditioner seems to be printing words right onto these blank sheets. Huh, that's impossible. It appears that Mr. Turner is still trying to test me to see if I'm on my game. Well, not this time. I'll use these to make a paper mache piñata okay. in his likeness. Then we'll see who has the last laugh. Right, so basically, we got you got to tweak, get the aircon tweaked before you can give them to him. Um, let's get let's get some more. Um, so we got to get the aircon tweaked before we can do something with him. So it means we've probably got to do something to the dude upstairs to um, make him make him move out of the way. One more try. Right. So there's nothing else we can click on on any other level, so we've, it's got to be something up top. But oh, the helicopter's gone. Okay, he looks like he's gone. Okay, so he's gone now. Now that we've um, we've kind of we tried to use the aircon, uh, the thing with that. With the office manager, he's left for his mission, so now we can f fiddle. Oh, 
little play puzzles, so we want to make it... So what do we want to do? Do we want to... What's it called? I'm not sure what to do. Do we want to make it hotter or colder? Um... Well, we, um, we stopped it altogether. What do we do to the temperatures? Is this guy going to be... Okay. Now he's hot. Okay, let's give him the flies now. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Penderbrook? Turn wants you to deliver the stack of paper to the bullpen. We can't he actually told me you'd say that, so what? it shouldn't be a problem. Wait a minute. If Mr. Turner is trying to toy with me, he wouldn't try the same game twice, would he? I'm not really sure. I kind of just met him. He made a request that these sheets be delivered. If they're tainted like the others, then I'm in my right to withhold them. Absolutely. But if they're not, then I'd be in breach of my duties as office manager. Oh, what a sordid little game you're playing, Mr. Turner. Hmm, spotless. Very well, Miss Collins. Tell your supervisor that not only will I deliver this stack of sheets to the bullpen, but I shall make sure that every single agent receives one. Success! Oh, that'll show him. Indeed it shall, Miss Kovacs. Indeed it shall. <laughs> A laugh. Equal fiddle and laugh. Yeah, residents of Arthur Penderbrook. It's like his man cave. TV on? Nah. No way am I going back into the field. Apple player got booze. I yeah. wish there was an easier solution for this. Oops, but our entire staff quit this morning. Not to mention that we have an agent lost in the field. He could be injured. Or worse. It really does seem inconsiderate for you to drag your feet like this when Wait, Morris's what? life could be at stake. I'm inconsiderate? This is your fault. You should see the way your son treats these people. It's a wonder they didn't quit sooner. This has nothing to do with me. This was a case of sabotage. Plain and simple. Sabotage? He's saying this because he can't admit he messed up. I may not be the gentlest hand with my employees, but at least I don't send them on illegal missions for my personal gain. Are you kidding me? It's said Well, at least there's one agent that Thornton hasn't driven to quit. No, me, Kovacs. Meet Arthur Penderbrook, head of Penderbrook Motors. Pleasure. Likewise, I'm sure. Numi here is my latest assistant. She's very, uh, punctual, usually. Mm. Oh, I can also attest to the fact that she knows how to use a phone. High praise indeed. Well, thanks to you, she's our second best agent at the moment. Daddy, you can't think that I'm responsible for this mess. Keeping this office staffed is your job, as is maintaining the tracking system that lost Taurus in the field. I'm telling you, it works. It's just that the system thinks he's still in the building. How can that be? Actually, right now it says he's in front of us, where Miss Kovacs is standing. K. 
care to explain that, Miss uh, Kovacs? That's because she had his car. Well, I, I suppose. Uh, I found Horace's card. It was in the washroom. What were you doing in the men's washroom? Um, cleaning it? She's obviously lying. Just the other day, she was asking me about photocopy of privileges. She stole it. If that's the case, I'm afraid we're going to have to let you go. With extreme prejudice. Aren't we being a little hasty here? I mean... Isn't duplicity the entire basis of our profession? I think it's more complicated than that. Now, Numi here may not be the best at outbound research. But to be honest, she's not even that punctual. Just the other day, I told her to take a break, and she didn't come back for 30 minutes, maybe an hour. But she did manage to lift valuable items from one of our top agents. And that shows tremendous potential in the field. And that's why you should send her to retrieve Horace instead mm. of me. Seriously? I can't believe this is actually happening. We can't send a new recruit unaccompanied into the unknown, especially when another agent might be in danger. Horace is a big boy, and I haven't been in the field in over a decade. May I interject here? Mr. Turner, I don't think you understand the level of threat Sebastian's invention has on us. If this invention gets out, this company will fold in a matter of months. That's a little dramatic, don't you think? I'm afraid he's not exaggerating. If he's perfected what he's working on, everything we've built will be obsolete. And you'll be forced to apply for work at the Bellows Agency. All right, I'll do it. Seriously? Wow. This is great. Excellent. So Horace was field. last seen entering Rev Inc.'s headquarters on a small island northeast of Tahiti. Your Tahiti. mission... Ah, you have no idea how long I've been waiting to hear those words. Sorry. Keep going. <clears throat> Your mission. Enter the Rev Inc. facility, locate Horse, and assist him in any remaining objectives before extraction. Finally! How are you doing, Rumbus? We're a field agent! <laughs> Why did you stop? We're almost there. Is there anything you want to say to me? Oh, uh what? -huh. Thanks for bringing me along? I know what you did. I'm not exactly sure what you mean, Turn. Didn't think you had it in you, convincing an entire office to up and quit their jobs. If only you could handle recon the way you handled them. Not sure what you're implying there, Mr. Turner. Then what was that flyer doing in your pocket? How did you... You're not the only one who knows how to pickpocket. How come you didn't tell Penderbrook? Because he would have fired you on the spot. And that would mean heading back into the field on my own. Better to let you go after the mission. Did you fire me? There's nothing more useless than an agent you can't trust. <laughs> if you trusted me in the first place, I wouldn't have had to betray you. You realize how warped that logic is, right? All I mean is that you can trust me. We'll see about that. Alright, let's go. More pigeon popping. You want to do something important? Stay here and guard this boat. But it could be dangerous. 
You'll need someone to go with you. Watch your back. That's true. If only I had someone I could trust. What is he wearing? A guard up there. Um, what is he wearing? I've got nothing to say to her. Oh, we're controlling him now, okay. What does he have? He's got a he's got an invisible ink. Yeah. No trespassing on the island, I think. Yeah, pigeon popping. Come on, pop a pigeon for rambles. Pigeons popped. Just for you. I'm gonna go in and pretend to be um fixing something. Yes. A dude here with his clipboard. If we walk past him, maybe he won't even see us. Yeah, look, we didn't even see us. We're good. There's not going to be much over here. We're always a... Okay. I think I'm looking through here. Uh-huh. It's a drill! Underwater drill. Who's that guy? It's spinning! It's spinning in the water. Hello, Night Rider. I, unfortunately, you cannot control the birds and um, tell them where to drop their loads. You can click on them, and if you click on them enough, they, they explode. But other than that, I don't know why they explode. I don't know. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stay your business! Our cargo ship just capsized, and I need some high ground to send a distress signal. May I use your roof? No one shall enter these doors by Rev's decree. Rev, huh? Well, maybe he could uh, give me a hand. Where can I find him? Rev is in me. Rev is in you. The docile will be strong when our mission is through. Uh. Okay. Right. How about this? If you let me go up there, I promise to fix your sign. It's broken? It's a disgrace. Sparks sputtering everywhere, neon lights flashing on and off. We were having such a good laugh about it, our boat ended up capsizing on your shores. <gasps> My goodness! Poseidon claimed three men. Along with ten thousand dollars worth of soda syrup. Soda All syrup, thanks to your faulty side. That's a, a tragedy. Soda syrup. Oh, oh tins. Though, I do take comfort in the fact that never has the act of drowning tasted so sweet. I'm so sorry. Please go to the roof and see to it that this never happens again. Super Spy! See, we're a Super Spy. We're... Yeah. We can talk our way out of anything. The was just full of empty. He's got his toolbox, but he's not got anything in it. I mean, our inventory's just got the, um... Some invisible ink. That's it. 
and we can let's go fiddle with it. It's cool you had fun. I'm looking forward to um to kind of Kimball finishing sorting out his images so we can look at let's look at some pictures and have some have a wonderful see how wonderful a time you guys have. Um Look at that! It looks like some, it's some, like, some like um, artless folk made it. Yeah, I think he said he was he was um, he's um, checking over all of them and and making some tweaks to some of them, lighting-wise, I think. Who said he was messing with them in Lightroom? Um, <laughs> Alright, got a burger alarm company, we got... Oh, fuses, okay. We... Okay, don't do that. Hang on, so that goes that way, that goes... Are we trying to get all of these off, maybe? So we go to the one to the right, then we go one to the left. And we've got two more, three rights, two left. Alright. Disable the alarm. See, I am a super spy. Okay, Ooh, what are we gonna do? It's what why do we cut? Always the red? I don't know why to cut. Okay, red. Red is really Was red a bad idea? Red must have been a good idea because uh, it did it. So we, we so basically we've disabled the alarm, right? I think. We've disabled the burglar alarm. Um I think. And he's put the toolbox down now, so... The sign is still flickering, so we didn't fix it, but... But maybe now we can go to a different part of the building, because we've disabled the alarm. Oh dear. Uh oh. Locked. Hello? Is anyone out there? I'm stuck on the roof. Uh, Numi, I need you to do me a solid. About time. What's wrong? I, uh, <laughs> locked myself on the roof. I'll go tell the guard. No. If he comes up here, he'll see I turned off the security system. How about that wire on the left side of the building? Maybe you could glide down on that. That could work. Just make sure to hold on tight. Pretty windy out here. Ooh. I don't think this is a good idea. Don't do it. Don't do it! You're gonna regret it. Gold. I'm gonna regret it. He's gonna make a run and jump. Uh, or, no, he's not. Numi, do you copy? He's gonna bottle out. Loud and clear. I think you should handle this one on your own. I thought you said I couldn't be trusted. What made you change your mind? I see your potential. I, uh... I'm beginning to see your potential. Okay, now I know you're lying. Are you scared or something? No, I'm sensible. And you're my canary in the coal mine. I'd rather be a canary than a chicken. I'm not a chicken. Just do it. Over. 
Copy that. Whoa. Now to just find a way in. Wait, what? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We're growing. Okay, we're gonna if you come around the other. Oh. Red paint was that blood. Now to just find a way in. Let's just sort of run. Okay, go to the right. Okay, okay, go to the right. Can I go to the right? Well, he's there! What? Look, look! He's not on the roof anymore. Um, he's down. Oh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna use we're gonna like kind of cut this open, I guess, right? A match. Okay. Wait, what are we doing with a match? Oh, we gotta turn this on, right? Turn it on first. There we go. Was the first two chapters. Um, so the demo says it's the first two chapters of the game, so we should probably end at some point here. So we'll drop out here as soon as we get the point. Um, I did notice one little bug, which I definitely kind of mentioned to them when I um, dropped them an uh, email. I don't know, so what, do you, what do you guys think? I do like the art style, I really like the, the art style of the game. Um, I really do like the art style of the game. The humor is it's very, the humor is very good. Um, I mean, it's kind of got a, a very old school vibe mixed with, um, mixed with, mixed with kind of a bit more modern, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, you're kind of a, you're kind of a spy. Rambles. Game's based in the 70s and you're kind of a, a work for an automotive company. It's like part of like um, It's kind of um about like a corporate espionage and your character wants to be a, a kind of like a, a super spy kind of thing. She wants to be a spy. Um. The game, game's out in um, two weeks. Call me Agent Kovacs, please. Since we get the ability Don't to move around, we're gonna away, hot shot. probably drop we're it out. We'll switch assistant. it up. Okay. I don't think I noticed something I as well. I just broke into a top secret compound on a secluded island. That's a bit of a step up from filing and collating. Mm, fair enough. Come on, shush. I need you to find out where Horace is and see if he can give you some intel on how to extract Sebastian. Yeah, Inkeeper. Will do. I try a newbie. I'm Be special. Over. Thanks, Turn. Yeah, the thing is, though, I mean, you're, you've kind of got into this place, whereas the um, the dude you're with, kind of, the dude you're with, who's the, um, um, 
who's the, the leader, your boss, he got trapped on the roof. In fact, you're playing the demo. Yeah, so it's... End of, end of chapter 2 is where it ended. So the, the game is how it...